Hi, I'm John Brock, Director of Research and Development here at Keystone, and I'm back to talk a little bit about power usage and energy management when you're using your new SolarFlex system. RV solar power systems open up all kinds of opportunities to camp off the grid. Remember, RV solar power systems rely on energy stored in your batteries, which will be replenished by the sun. There's some constraints that you don't have when you're plugged into shore power. When it comes to power, there's three variables you're gonna to wanna to consider. How many watts of solar do you have on your roof? In other words, how much energy can you collect when the sun's out? The weather, if you're in a shady or sunny campsite. The size of your battery bank, the more amp hours your batteries can store, the more reserved energy you're going to have. When you're boondocking, you also want to think about power out. You might be surprised how much energy some commonly used appliances can pull out of your battery bank. Hair dryers, full-size coffee makers, even Keurigs and blenders are just a few things you may want to consider not using when you're relying on just your battery's energy. Here's a quick example. This 2000 watt inverter that's part of the SolarFlex 400i package only has 2000 watts of output power. When we take a look at this hairdryer, pulls 1875 watts. That uses up most of the capacity of the 2000 watt inverter. Use your battery monitoring system to give you a feel for how the things you power from your RV will impact the draw of energy from your battery bank. This will help you make the best choices depending on how long you're planning on being out camping. To learn more about the Keystone SolarFlex packages and how they can help you camp better, be sure to check out our website at keystonerv.com forward slash SolarFlex.